Red Max Entertainment, turning music into memories. What's up, everybody? Brandon Havrilla back from Red Max Entertainment. Today, we're taking a look at the Hosa products um, and these are the Hosa cables and today we're looking at the quarter inch in the last video we looked at the XLRs and we looked at the good better and their best models of cables which is their standard pro and edge series so if you haven't checked out that video already the link will be down in the description below and I'll also put a link right up here and you can um, check that video out first and then come back and watch this one on the quarter inch basically we're gonna dive in talk about the uh, quality of these three cables and we're actually going to take the connectors off so you can see the difference of the soldering points and inside the cable um, and inside the connectors. Okay so now I got the three cables unwrapped here and just based off the end of the connectors you could really tell a difference um, between the quality and you could see that these are gold plated, these are silver, and these are just your standard metal cables that you would buy. And um, I mean, this, this all comes down to preference, really. Um, personally, I like my cables to last. I like to use them for a while and not have to replace them. So I'm going to stick with these Pro Series and uh, probably replace all my cables with the Pro Series. Um, the Pro Series is the middle of the line, so it's not the most expensive, but it's also a decent quality compared to the standard, and it's not that far off from the Edge Series as well. However, for the money... The Edge series, I think, would be more worth it for um, for the long run if you want cables that are going to last a while. But again, it comes down to personal preference. So uh, let me know in the comments below, you know, which kind of cables you want and which kind of cables you would get out of these three series. Um, and maybe let me know why or if you already have some. So we're going to dive right in, open these up, and take a look at the connections. Okay, now that I've got the casing off these, the uh, connections are pretty similar to what we saw in the XLRs. However, here's the quarter inch standard. They just put a heat wrap over the whole thing, um, which is good. It, it prevents the strain and stuff. Um, however, it also prevents us from seeing what the actual connections look like. But if I had to guess, they are the same as the XLRs, just small soldered joints on them. So uh, next is the Pro Series, which is the middle of the line. You can see there's a long plastic strain relief here. And when we take the strain relief off, you could see how the connection is soldered. And it's really just the cables, a little bit of a heat wrap over that solder to the board. And they're not that far on the connector here. You could see there's only a little bit overlapping. So any bit of pull, strain, or dropping this connector is actually going to you know, put a toll on that connection. Now we're going to jump onto the Pro Series here. And you can see the strain relief is the same, similar plastic strain relief. However, it's actually a little shorter than the Pro Series. But when we open this up inside here, you can see there's a thicker plastic connection over the cable itself. And uh, down here as well, it's just the cable soldered to the board. And um, they're actually about the same distance soldered on as the Pro Series. Um, which is something we didn't see in the XLRs. The XLRs, they were soldered uh, with a lot more solder, a lot better connections. So that's one thing I could see down the road, even in this Edge series of quarter inch, is maybe those connections coming loose because they're not soldered that far on. Um, but again, it's all to preference. That could also be a flaw in just, in just this cable. So I hope this helped you guys out if you're looking into these cables. Um, and if you're just looking into Hosa cables in general, there's the three versions. There's the standard, the Pro, and the Edge series, good, better, and best. And uh, I'll have links to all those in the descriptions. Thanks for watching.